Hello and good morning everybody. This is David Layton Joyner, your friendly neighborhood illustrator. And I'm coming to you again with another fine installment here at the Artist Corner. As you can see what I'm doing right here, I'm actually marking off the uh, visual zone for my illustration so that I know this is the parameter for my shot. And now, as you guys may remember, I showed you all in previous illustration this gentleman right here. This is what he's looking like currently. And then we moved on to this young lady right here. We were then followed up by Ghost Rider coming to the rescue. <laughs> and now I was thinking, gee, wouldn't it be fun to move on to uh, something a little more scary. I uh, don't know how many of you can remember a particular movie, but uh, it happened to be one of my favorites growing up. And I think that I am gonna attempt to draw myself a little alien. If you guys can remember that bad creature from that movie. This is going to be a Dave Wren rendition of that awesome creature. Of course, this is not the, uh, the real, real deal. But that doesn't mean we can't try and create something original and different. So we've got my usual stringy spaghetti design work here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put an arm out here. And we're gonna go ahead and throw a hand arm up here and then we will go ahead and put this aliens claw right down on the page like this of course this wouldn't be perfect unless we had a, a maybe a victim so we'll go ahead and we can work on some foreshortening by putting in a don't forget your acting people these characters are this is this somebody's scared. So we're gonna elongate the face. Bring the eyebrows way up high. Put the ears down low. We're going to try to bring some foreshortening in. But we'll try to keep them in frame. Should we, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead, since you guys can't see that, I'm gonna get rid of it. And we can go ahead and maybe throw the hands out in front. So we're gonna put the neck, chest, shoulder, arm, elbow, and forearm. And then we have these hands. Probably not a very good place to put your hand. But hey, you know what? When you're scared, you put your hand wherever. Now, this is, um, all right, shoulder, neck, and it's a space picture, so she's going to have on some sort of thing with the ears and the thing like that. Maybe in the other hand, over here, we have the arm, elbow. And the arm going up. Maybe in this hand we've got what? What do we got? Uh, oof, I don't know. Maybe a, a knife. Not going to be very helpful, I think, against such a beast. But you know, you do what you got to do. You got an alien coming at you in space. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now we're gonna put her in some sort of Star trek -y corridor. Or maybe not. Maybe uh, this will be one of those alien goopy hybrid corridors. Should she be laying down? Would this be better to keep her in frame? No, I've already got the bottom of the frame here. So we've got it established. We got the creature. 
coming into frame and out of frame. And we're going to have its other arm in frame. And we'll just go ahead and put the wrist, another hand, and we're going to throw those fingers out there. They got like six fingers on that thing, don't they? Okay. So we've got a basic structure for an alien illustration. We're now going to throw down with some ink using our micron. Come over here to the person since we're going to be trying to sell this. Not sell it literally, literally but you know, we're selling the, the idea. This is one scared individual. The nose can be corrected at this point. And we got the lips. And the chin. Neck. Jaw. And we're going to correct the neck a little. Okay. And the head uh, is needing some correction. But we still can go ahead and put the eyebrows up here. Bring the forehead in. Military haircut. And some sort of apparatus or something that's coming around. Techie. And it's going to be all aliens. No, not alien, but you know, space age tech. Something like that. More hair down the neck and the ear lobe, something inside the ear, and then this is going to come down some little bit there, and a little doodad. So we've got that all established so that we can now come in with the nose, cheek, eye, less is more I think, if I, we've had that conversation before when drawing the female form, less is more. We still got the arm in here, so we're going to have shoulder, arm, elbow, So we've got this muscle coming up. We've got an elbow here. Some of these lines can be corrected in a short bit here. I'm gonna give her some sort of collar. And here's your sh See, these lines are, this is the gold right here. You want that stuff in there. Those lines really help to bring the character forward. We are going to go ahead and move from her. Might as well throw the hand in here. Still going to not worry too much at this point. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say the knife too because I want to get the angle right. This is actually more important to me than uh, getting the hand right at this point. Hmm. Boy, that's really off. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to correct this by coming in like this. Check that out. Boom. We have now corrected an offset hand. And we did it live for you guys right this right now. You guys see that? Did you see what I just did there? Right there. That's magic. Anyway, moving on to our alien. We are going to Oh wait, we can't. We can't even do the alien. Alright, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Next episode, the alien. Dun dun dun. Here at the artist corner with your friend David Joyner. Goodbye. Peace.